With Presentation, you can develop experiments in Windows and run them on mobile devices using the Presentation mobile app. This video will walk you through the basics of setting up a mobile experiment. There are some important factors you should consider before designing a mobile experiment. First, make sure your stimuli and methods are supported by the Presentation mobile app. For example, 3D visual stimuli are not currently supported for mobile. A complete list can be found in the Presentation Mobile documentation. Second, consider how to handle responses. All responses on mobile currently must use the touchscreen. Often, this means having different parts of the screen, such as the left and right half, act as unique response buttons. Finally, consider how your experiment will look on different devices. Pay close attention to the size of text and other visual stimuli to ensure that they will be visible and legible on devices with different screen sizes and resolutions. We will adapt a simple reaction time experiment already running in presentation on Windows. First, navigate to the General panel of the Settings tab and set the target platforms. This setting controls on which platforms the packaged experiment will run. For mobile experiments, you will generally select any available unless you have a reason to explicitly exclude certain platforms. Although the target platform setting never prevents you from running the experiment in presentation, which you will do during development, presentation will restrict you to using only those features supported on all of the selected platforms. For example, if we add a 3D object to our experiment, presentation will report an error. Second, we will adjust and update display settings. Experiments run on mobile devices always use the native display resolution of the device. Therefore, you will almost always want to use custom units, rather than pixels, to set sizes and locations of visual stimuli. Setting a max Y header parameter of 100 means that the top of the screen has a Y coordinate of 100, the center has a Y coordinate of 0, and the bottom is negative 100 on all devices, regardless of the actual display resolution. The visible range in the X direction will depend on the aspect ratio of the device being used. Next we will change our response buttons on the Response panel of the Settings tab. Mobile experiments require touchscreen responses, which are listed under the Pointing Device entry. Note that you must be using Windows 8 or higher for mobile experiment development. We will use the pointer down option so that touches anywhere on screen count as a response. It is also possible to configure touch buttons so that different regions of the screen act as unique buttons. See the presentation documentation for more information on creating custom touch buttons. If your development computer does not have a touch screen, you can enable mouse test mode, which will display a mouse cursor and generate touch data when the mouse button is depressed. Now we can test our experiment and presentation. Once your experiment works as intended on Windows, you can begin testing it on mobile devices. To test on a mobile device, first connect the device to the computer. Then, manually transfer the experiment files to the mobile device. For Android users, use Windows File Explorer. For iOS devices, use iTunes. Specific instructions can be found in the Presentation Mobile documentation. Once the experiment has been transferred, open the Presentation app or refresh the experiment list if it is already opened. Touch the experiment name to open the experiment. Touch Start to run the experiment. Note that a Test Mode watermark appears on screen while running test experiments. If necessary, fix errors or make changes on the development computer and test in presentation. Then copy the updated files to the device and test it again. Once an experiment is ready, the final step is to package the experiment for distribution. To package the experiment, go to the Experiment menu and click Create Secure Package. Select Yes when asked if the experiment will be run on non-Windows platforms, and follow the prompts to finish creating the package. 
If the experiment settings do not meet all of the requirements for hosted packages, presentation will tell you what to fix. Once the package is created, it must be uploaded to the NBS website for hosting. Go to the NBS website, log in, and select Experiment Manager in the My Account menu. You must do three things which we will go over in detail. First, upload the experiment package. Second, assign the experiment to your license. Third, set up the experiment so that data is uploaded to NBS. The last step is optional. The first step is to upload the experiment on the Hosted Experiments page. Click the Upload Experiment button, then select the appropriate secure package and click Upload. Next, go to the Experiment Licenses page. Only active licenses containing experiment activations which you control will appear on this page. See the experiment activation documentation for complete details about licensing. To assign your experiment to a license, click Assign Hosted Experiment and select the experiment package from the drop down menu. You can also add keyword search terms, hide your experiment from general searches, or add password protection from this page. Now the experiment is ready for distribution. As a final step, we will set up a data group so that data from the experiment can be uploaded to NBS servers automatically after the experiment runs. To set up a data group, go to the Data Groups page. Click Create Data Group to make a new group and give it a name and description. Now we will assign our experiment to this data group on the Experiment Licenses page. To run an experiment, it must first be downloaded to the mobile device. Open the Presentation Mobile app and search for the experiment by name, author name, experiment ID, or keyword. To keep your experiment completely private, disable general searching for the experiment and search using the experiment or package ID. Find the experiment in the search results, then touch Download to download the experiment. The experiment will now be listed on the main page of the Presentation app. To run the experiment, touch the experiment name to open the Run page. Touch Start to run the experiment. When the experiment finishes, data is uploaded automatically to NBS. If the device is offline at that time, the app will attempt to upload the data again the next time the experiment is opened or run. To view uploaded data, go back to the Data Groups page. From the data page, you can see all uploaded data, filter data by experiment or subject, and download or delete data. Experiments run on mobile devices are required to use data file encryption. Therefore, after downloading your data, you must unencrypt it using the presentation encryption utility. Remember that creating mobile experiments in presentation is essentially a three-step process. First, develop your experiment in Windows. Then, test it on your mobile device. Finally, Package it and upload it to NBS for distribution to any mobile device. For complete details, please refer to the presentation documentation, the presentation mobile app documentation, and the experiment activation documentation.